Today we are going to be creating a CAD6 patch cable to run between my modem and my router. The tools we are going to need for this project are a modular plug crimper, a universal cable jacket stripper, a set of side cutters or cutting pliers, a pair of scissors, a length of CAT6 network cable, two CAT6 modular plugs, and two strain relief boots. Now that you have everything ready, you'll want to get your run of CAT6 cable and measure it to a desired length. In this case, we have approximately 8 inches, and cut it with your cutting pliers or side cutters. Once that's complete, you'll want to get one of your strain relief boots and put it onto the end of your CAT6 cable, sliding it far enough so that it will not interfere with your next task. Next, you'll want to get your universal cable jacket stripper, ensuring that the cutting blade is set at the appropriate height. Once you've done that, you'll want to cut off approximately one inch of the outer cable jacket that is covering the wires. Once you remove the cut off cable jacket, you will notice that there are four twisted wire pairs. You'll want to remove those four twisted wire pairs away from the plastic separator. After that, you'll want to splay each of the four twisted wire pairs onto eight individual wires. Now that we have the wires individually separated, you'll notice there's a plastic piece in the middle that is no longer needed. You'll want to get your cutting pliers or side cutters and cut that plastic piece as close to the cable as possible. We are now ready to install the plug onto the CAT6 cable. To make this job a little bit easier, we got a CAT6 plug that has an insert. We are going to be inserting all eight wires into this plastic insert prior to installing it into the actual CAT6 plug. When looking at the plug from the front with the teeth down, pin 1 will always be on the left. Following this wiring diagram, you'll want to start off with the white slash orange wire and insert it into the left side of the insert. Once you have done, done that, you want to give it a little bend so that the wire stays in there and you don't have to worry about it actually slipping out. From then on, just continue with the rest of the wires until all the wires have been inserted in the proper place. Once you have inserted all eight wires, you'll want to make sure that you push the insert as close as possible to the cable jacket so that we get a nice tight fit inside of the actual CAT6 plug. Next, you'll want to get yourself a set of scissors and cut the excess wire flush with the insert. This is necessary for us to put this actual insert into the plug. We can now grab the plug and fit the insert along with the cable jacket into the actual plug. When doing this, you might want to give the cable jacket a little bit of a squeeze to make sure that it gets into the plug. Once you've done that, give it a good push so that the insert is all the way in at the end of the plug. Once you have the insert and the cable properly seated inside of the plug, you'll want to get your crimper and insert the plug into the 8 pin hole. Once it's in there, give your crimpers a full squeeze to ensure that all the pins are crimped properly. Now that this is complete, you can pull the cable out and grab your strain relief boot that you put on earlier and slide it onto the plug. After sliding the strain relief boot into place, follow all the previous steps to complete the other side of the cable. Once finished, you have a professional looking and fully functional CAT6 cable. 